Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a book review of Down the Rabbit Hole by Juan Pablo Villalobo, I believe that's how you pronounce it. This was originally written in Mexican and was translated into quite a few languages, um, as far as I'm aware. As for the most part, it was set in Mexico. Now, I decided to pick this book up when I saw Jean over at Bookish Thoughts review on it on her channel, and coincidentally, on the same day that her review went up, the book was actually on offer for 70 pence on the Kindle Daily Deal. I thought, why not give it a go? and so I decided to pick it up and gave it a read as it was only about 70 pages. I'm going to give a little disclaimer before I start this review. I am not going to be pronouncing any of the names in this because I will really butcher it severely. It revolves around a seven-year-old boy and you're seeing the world through his eyes basically. You're seeing the way he sees things and what he sees for the most part is his drug dealer family. His father actually has a drug dealing business so he's prone to seeing things that not a lot of seven-year-olds would see including the deals and the knowledge about the fact that people are getting killed for it. I believe that this character of the boy has been severely corrupted by the way that he has been brought up. A lot of the time he talks as if he knows everything that's going on and in a sense he is quite precocious but at the beginning of the book he does actually proclaim that he himself is a precocious child. But the fact that I don't believe that these are the things that a seven-year-old should be knowing about makes this book all the more shocking. In the first few pages, the boy starts off by talking about all the things that his family own, all the jewels and the hats and the animals and the things that his father buys him um, in a way that he's spoiled. And when I first started reading it, I thought that he was making all of this up and this was some kind of fantasy world that he was living in. But as I was reading on, I realised that this was actually the their reality and it's quite scary to think that people actually probably live like this in the world and it makes you think that not everything's as simple and as quite innocent as you live where you are. Through the book he acts as though he understands what's going on and he acts as though he wants to be part of it but I feel that this is part of the facade that he puts on around his family in order to fit in as such. As one thing that was mentioned in the book was that if somebody cried for certain reasons that shouldn't have warranted crying then you were called a certain name which I don't really want to say on YouTube and that kind of pressure from an early age does actually mould a child and I believe that this little boy was very malleable and is and any child that age would be very malleable. If I'd have read this from anyone else's perspective, like if I'd have read this from the father's perspective, I don't think I would have found this as weird as I found it reading from the seven year old's perspective because generally whenever you read about drug dealers it's fine. There are so many drug dealer books and drug dealer films out there that you wouldn't be able to count on two hands basically but because of the fact that it's told from the point of view of a child it gives it a new meaning. It makes you stop and think about it, about how their lives are actually affecting those around them and especially their young children. And this leads me on to the idea of nature versus nurture. And if the child was in a different family, would he still have been as corrupted and as precocious as he was living in this drug dealer family? Or is the capacity to be evil just in your genes in general? This is actually one of those books that makes you think, and to be honest, I'm having trouble putting into words what I actually want to say. Um, when I finished it, I didn't really have an opinion on it. I just wanted to sit and think about it, and I think that's one of the first books I've ever felt that about. Normally when I read books and I finish them, I already have some kind of staple opinion of what my ideas were about the book, but with this one, it took a little bit more thought as to how I wanted Wanted to address it. It's not something overly simple that can just have a like or not like description. It's a little bit more deeper than that I believe. And despite the fact that it was a 70 page book I believe that it did actually impact me. Um, as I was saying with regards to the thinking about it and not even many 500 page books can actually make me do that but to do it in 70 pages is just an absolutely amazing thing to do. Anyways if you've read this book please let me know in the comments below. I'd really love to hear your thoughts and I'm sure I'll speak to you soon. Bye!